Hello love, this is Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me for the hottest news and subscribe to this channel to get somewhere new. Why am I so racist against those poor white guys? I'm always dragging them through the mud on my show. <laughs> well, you know, you have to make fun of yourself in life. I'm a white girl, and so if I'm going to make fun of anybody, it should be my own kind, <laughs> especially the guys who piss me off. <laughs> but hey, I am not trying to uh, put down, re really put down anybody or say that people are always a certain way. As soon as, as I do or any of us do, we say white guys are always like this or Latin guys are like this, immediately you find the opposite. It's not true at all. The, the, you find somebody who's the complete opposite of your stereotype and it's a really lethal thing to do to really believe in stereotypes. But I feel so passionate about the importance of talking about differences and also about giving back some of the poisonous racial um, prejudice medicine to white people, especially white men, because all of this racism on the planet has been promoted and propped up by white people who are serving themselves by keeping it in place. So as soon as I'm like a little bit uh, teasing the white guys and saying their their pre prejudicial things about them and there's this big wave of, ah, we are not, how dare you say that? Well, just feel it, okay? Just feel it for a moment. Feel what it's like to have racism aimed at you. Okay, this Black Lives Matter movement, it's, those are powerful words. Those words would never have been said if, if, if black people weren't feeling like their lives were being treated like they didn't matter. All right, so get with that, that in this show of mine, I am teasing you white guys. You've got to feel what it's like to have racism and sexism pointed at you because you're never going to get it. You're never going to stop completely until you understand what it feels like to be put in that kind of uh, uh, um, categorizing uh, where your humanity is not taken into account for your uniqueness. Now I know Every person in my life is unique. There is nobody who's just a white guy or, or a black guy or, any, or a Latin guy, really. Of course not. But, darling, I'm doing something here I really think matters. By stirring up that pot and pissing off a whole bunch of white guys, I feel like I am saying, feel it! Feel it and change it. If this feels wrong to you and abusive and, and completely like betrayal, good, because <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> and turn that around and be better. Be a better person to every African American, Latin person in your life. Do not see them by the color of their skin. See them completely as the uniqueness of who they are and the specificness of who they are, okay? That's my goal. And I would never actually judge you um, in a simplistic way. Even in the video that I told the story of all the Latin guys who are totally good with going down on women and, and all the white guys in the same circle who, who are like never went down on women. That's just a story. That's a true story a friend of mine told me. It's not saying all white guys are like that. It's simply telling a story from the perspective of all these women I know, elder women especially, who've gotten in, been in marriages with white guys where their entire life they have never experienced the potentiality of their own pleasure. Never! They have never been given that much attention. They haven't been treated like sensual beings. As they get older, the white guys are like, I'm going for the young guys, girls. And I'm sure Latin guys, African guys do the same thing of belittling their own wives or their uh, older women, you know, but there just may be syndromes that different races have that we can learn from each other and we can undo our, our own limits by looking at the another culture that's better at something than we are and being okay with that. Okay, why do they call them the romance cultures? Romance cultures, romance languages. Well, that brings us to the language 
Um, words of affirmation in my next video. Words of affirmation are a powerful, profound way of making a woman feel loved or anyone feel loved. And this is not something that the white guys in my life usually have been very good at because the romance languages have something called word flowers that they practice since they're little boys, which is the, the gorgeous words you shower upon other little girls, like, you are the most beautiful woman in the world, they said the little boy to the girl passing by him in the schoolyard. He's been practicing his whole life. Now in my life, I'm getting showered with words of affirmation by a white guy right now. Go figure, <laughs> there's nobody uh, who, who's kept out of the ability and the magic of words of affirmation. Coming up next, subscribe to this channel, darling. Love life.